Hi, I'm Wendy from Dainty Cookie Co. And today I'll be showing you four different types of icing consistency. Here I'm starting off with stiff consistency icing straight out the mixer that's been colored with Americolor in gel paste fuchsia. Okay, so make sure you thoroughly mix your icing. You want to get all the way to the bottom of the bowl to mix your color thoroughly. Scrape off your spatula as well. You can test out your icing by lifting up a spatula and seeing that the peaks stay in shape. Here you can see that the icing is holding its peaks. It's holding its shape very well. This is the consistency you need for when you are wanting to do any floral work. For example, like when you want to pipe some roses. I'll be using a thick disposable piping bag. and I'll be fitting it in with a coupler. Now a coupler is mostly used for when you want to interchange tips. Bring the coupler straight to the bottom of the bag. Go ahead and grab a pair of scissors and score the bottom end of the coupler. Snip off the excess just enough so that the coupler doesn't go all the way through. Here you can see just the end of the coupler is coming out of the piping bag. I'll be using a flower tip. Screw the tip in. You can use a tall glass cup when filling your piping bag. The way to do that is you would put the piping bag inside the cup and fold the excess over the rim of the cup. I'll be using my hands. This is normally how I fill my piping bag. With my fingers, I went ahead and scraped off the spatula. Push the icing towards the bottom of the bag. Here you can go ahead and tie with the bag tie. You can use a clip or you can knot the end just like I'm doing here. This helps prevent the icing from pouring out from the back end of the piping bag. I have a template here where I'll show you how I pipe a rose using stiff consistency.
you can see that the rose has kept its shape. You can see the ridges of the design. Now I'm changing tips to show you how simple it is when you're using a coupler, using the same bag, you're able to change into any tip you'd like. Now I'll show you a different type of rose here. I'm cleaning up the edges and the ends with a scribe. Now here I was able to achieve two different types of roses using the same icing bag and the same color. The next icing I'll be showing you is outline consistency icing. I have a spray bottle with water. I'll start off with a little bit of water at a time and mix it in thoroughly. You can also use a dropper or you can use measuring spoons and just add a quarter teaspoon of water at a time. Outline consistency is used for outlining the shape of a cookie. It holds your flooding inside. You're also able to use it for lettering and detail work. Here you see it's more of a softer peak. It's still not as soft as I'd like it to be, so I'm adding more water. Here I'm using a thinner material piping bag. You can find them on Amazon. I'm also not using a tip. Go ahead and fold the bag over your hand. Again, push the icing towards the bottom and tie a knot at the end. Now make sure your seam is facing up and cut off a small opening at the end of the bag.
Here I have a fake cookie. I'll go ahead and outline the shape just to give you an idea of how it would be if it were outlining a real cookie. Now let's move on to medium consistency icing. We'll add more water. Now medium consistency is used for outlining and flooding using the same consistency icing. It's used for when you want more dimension and give you a more puffy look to your icing. Here you see a slow plop. Medium consistency is thick enough that it can hold somewhat of its shape, but it is thin enough that you can also smooth it out using a scribe. You want it ribboning slowly off your spatula. I'm bringing my template over so I can show you how I outline the circle and fill in using the same icing. Now with my scribe, I'm smoothing out the surface.
Here you see that it blended in perfectly with the help of a Now we'll move on to flood consistency icing. You don't want it to be too thin, but you want it thin enough that it drizzles off the spatula just as you see here. It takes a couple of seconds for it to smooth over on its own. You use flood consistency to flood your cookie within the outline consistency. Flood consistency is also prone to air bubbles. Since you're adding water and you're mixing, you're whipping air into the icing causing air bubbles to rise. You can leave your bowl for a couple of minutes and let the bubbles rise on their own. Then with a spatula or a spoon, gently smooth over the top of the icing and pop the air bubbles. An extra tip is that if you accidentally add too much water to your icing, you can thicken it back up by adding sifted powdered sugar into your icing and mixing it until you reached the desired consistency. I'm bringing my template over again and we'll show you how I outline and fill the circle. But you will also notice how the outline is not holding its shape. As it's flood consistency, it kind of melts away. You see how fast the icing settles without even needing the scribe. It's not maintaining its perfect circle shape. It's coming out the line a little bit. Whereas here, I'm using the outline consistency to outline the circle shape. And then I'll go in with my flood consistency in the center. And you can see that the outline holds the flood consistency icing inside.
it's more of a clean circle. It's maintaining its shape because that outline consistency is holding the flood in. If you see any air bubbles, just go ahead and pop them with your scribe. Now I'll go ahead and show you side by side each consistency so you can see the difference. There you see stiff consistency. The peak is holding its shape. Next is outline consistency, which is a little smoother. The peak is not as stiff. It has a slight curve to it. Here you see medium consistency. It barely has a tip on the top. And now flooding. Which settled right away and has no peak. There you can see a side by side view. And you can compare how each of the icings differ. Now here's another angle view. I hope you found this video informative and it helps you in your cookie decorating journey. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.